we are in a building on Stanford campus that your family endowed. Uh, it is here because of your family. And um, you, you grew up in Silicon Valley in Palo Alto. Uh, with this large family name, and you've since married another very large name in Silicon Valley, Mark Andreessen. Um, and you've kind of, it's my sense that you've melded those two worlds a little bit, kind of the entrepreneurship of Silicon Valley that you've seen in Mark, and also the philanthropy that you saw in your parents growing up. Um, but let's talk about that a little and also how it ties into your new book, Giving 2.0. You use the term large, Victoria. I see that term as being most appropriate for the largeness of generosity that my parents showed me by their everyday example of living a true giving life. That is the primary impetus for why I have chosen to live a life of service. It is in following their extraordinary examples. Where do you see as sort of the, the rich opportunities uh, for, for people to be philanthropic? I mean, your book, you kind of talk about it's, it's democratizing philanthropy. So it's not Absolutely. just for this, you know, this elite set of people who can write massive checks, right? No. It's much larger than that. Yes. A, ph a philanthropist is anyone who gives anything, whether time, expertise, passion, compassion, networks, or dollars in any amount. Giving is a universal opportunity. And what Giving 2.0 is about is helping individuals giving in all forms and at every level make their giving matter more. And two of the most exciting things that we're seeing in philanthropy right now is volunteerism and how technology is democratizing philanthropy. So last year, over 63 million Americans volunteered their time in excess of 8.1 billion hours of public service. And if you value each of those hours at a very low $20 per hour, that totals about $170 billion. A conversation I had recently with Bill Gates and Dustin Moskowitz, we kind mm -hmm. of brought them oh, together because Dustin is embarking on being a philanthropist and launching a foundation. And what was very clear from even my initial conversations with Dustin before we sat down with Bill was he had some skepticism when it came to philanthropy and, you know, are, can, you, can you create bad incentives? Um, are you really, you know, how, how can you measure good outcomes, um, there's a lot of failures. And what was fascinating is that when we sat down with Bill, Bill pointed out, but you have the same thing in the private sector. For every Facebook or Google, there were dozens of companies aiming for some piece of that pie that had to fail, in a sense, in order for Facebook and Google to succeed. And it was a real mind shift to, to apply that same lens to charity work. Because I think for, for a lot of average people, that's kind of a hang up. Well, am I going to give money to that organization? But, you know, is, is what they're doing really in, in creating the right incentives? And gosh, you know, they're probably spending a lot on bureaucracy or administrative costs. I mean, how do you view it? Philanthropy, whether it's an hour of our time or $100 or $100 million, Philanthropy is society's risk capital. It is an opportunity to innovate. For us as individual philanthropists, no matter what form or amount our generosity takes, the onus is on us to innovate. The onus is on us to shift our giving from what I call 1.0 to 2.0. So giving not reactively, but proactively. Giving not sympathetically, but strategically. And giving not in isolation, but collaboratively. Mm -hmm. So a primary reason why I have chosen a path in the field of philanthropy, of furthering the field of philanthropy, and of educating and empowering individual givers to give in a way that matters more is because that is the single greatest leverage that I could have as an individual mm -hmm. giver. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just about 
my direct engagement right. with specific organizations. Indirectly, it becomes about the hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hopefully one day hundreds of thousands of individuals that I can help give in a way that matters more.